I was given a bunch of uh, PDF documents that are a mess, and I have about 30 minutes to convert them into um, tips. I was, I was trying to figure out how to do this, but these are um, uh, documents that have this cover page. They have blank pages in between each one, and it's just a, it's just a, a mess. So you, know, you never know what you're going to get. So um, I'm going to take these and I'll look at one of these. There's tons of redaction on them, so I'm going to try to figure out what they are. Zoom out of that so I can look at them. I'm going to color theme. Thank you. Um, so they're scanned upside down, tons of redaction, but I need to get these blank pages out of there. This stuff, new file. And like I said, they're all upside down. This one's just scanned crooked. What a mess. But I'm going to try to get these into um, at least some kind of TIFF format that I can um, look at. So first things first, I always start my applications with um, DataCap FastDoc. Okay, so let's pick any that's on here, and then you can get to the button to do the wizard, which seems crazy, but that's how it is. Okay, now I can click this uh, application wizard button. I'm going to create a new application. Next, uh, new ro uh, rule runner server application. Application name is new tip. I'm going to convert these to TIFF. I'm going to use the form template. And the rest of it, I don't create documents through here. Just never, ever change document or page. Just uh, leave those alone because uh, other things inherit. Always create your own um, document classes around that. Just say connect to wizard when it exits. It'll bring you, it'll bring this other window in front. And then you got to go and find your application, which is the last one to TIFF admin. Uh, I'm going to change the document hierarchy. Oops, that's not it. This one here changes the document hierarchy. I'm going to add a document. I'm going to call this to the doc. Um, I'm going to inherit from this document, which is why you don't change document ever. Um, I did that in the early days when they first added this inheritance stuff, and it caused me a couple of days of loss. Uh, to the main, and again, enable inheritance from page. Well, you get all the page ID and stuff on this. Oops, right there, two doc. I'm going to add another page. Two TIFF trailing, two TIFF trailing, and here it. Okay, I'm not going to have any fields on here. I want to make sure there's at least, so when you do the, so I just name, we're going to give the documents names, or the, sorry, the pages, page types of these types. And then um, when you call the create documents is called, it uses these numbers to um, Organized. So if there, there can only be one main page, so if you get a second main page, it starts the whole new document. That's all it is. And that could be as many as you want. Oh, ordering wise, I want the main page to go first, and I want the trailing page to go um, second. I can go zero and one, but I like to go one and two just to be clear. Um, I'm going to trust the thing. There that is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to change my rule sets here. And the one I want to do, and since these are PDFs, I want to do identify pages. And I don't want to use fingerprints. I'm just going to do it based on the page source location. Since these are PDFs, I don't really care. On the main page, uh, this, this is the first page. I'm going to say it's a two TIFF main. And on the trailing page, it's two TIFF trailing. Now, I could go back and convert these back to PDF. But really, I just want to get these files out of the batch structure and then um, be able to use them to build another demo. Um, so it's just really a conversion step. So I'm not really going to use, I guess I'm not going to use the page type stuff, but we'll figure it out. Uh, do I, I want blank page detection um, and blank page type? I don't know what to do about that, but we'll just call it other type. Uh, that way it doesn't get saved. It's not going to be saved in our documents anyway, so we can delete it later. We can add a rule uh, to delete blank pages, but I don't think I have enough time for that. And we'll just we're going to sort them manually once they're in the batch folder. So I think I am done with that. So uh, it'll come in. It'll identify the pages. It'll convert them. I want to do the conversion step. That's what I have to do. If I do, if you look, this is the one we're going to use, demo multi-format. It does have a convert files to images, which I could have gotten to just by pulling this down and changing from page type. But um, I want to convert uh, PDF is the one I'm most, most interested in. And what you need to do here is I want it to be black and white. I want to use that conversion. I think um, I've always had better luck with fast mode and conversion quality. And I'm going to up these since I think these were scanned at a lower resolution. You can do some tricks sometimes to um, make a better quality um, of OCR by giving your um, giving yourself a higher resolution on your, um, on your tip. So that's done. Now I think I'm ready to go and run this through uh, DataCup Studio. So I like the test tab. A lot of people don't like it. 
but uh, I tend to like it. DFF Studio. I start my application. Oh, I got to get my images in there. So here are <clears throat> uh, two tiff is my application. Next, login. I got to get my images over there. Try to do three things at once. Samples. Here they are. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do one uh, for now. Control C and back over here to images. Uh, input multi format and go to the tab. Everything see it's gonna work. Pretty quick little application because it'll just it'll do the conversion tip. So um, I'm gonna go down to this multi format. Right click. Say new. It does not choose the, the right thing because they should have named this vScan. Uh, they shouldn't just name this vScan multi. That way it would match up and automatically drop that down. Let's see, push play. It's going to go through and do the scan. I'm going to have some documents here, some pages here that are now TIFF files. We'll see what we got. And I think that's all I need to do to get those converted. I'm going to say um, advance. I don't actually need the page ID stuff because these are the files that I needed. Okay, cool. Um, that's it. Now I can go and get those files and go see if they are. I think I'll get one of these that doesn't have much data on it. Copy, control, copy. Um, I'll put that in that multi-format directory. Delete that one. Leave it there. I'm going to put this back on hold and then run another one. New, change it to multi-format, and then this one through. So now I should have my um, TIFF documents for this one. This one's a lot longer. I think it's six or seven pages, but um, so it should take a little bit longer. While we're waiting for that, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go back up and change my check my batches folder. Here's that one we just converted. There's that TIFF. Um, I can preview that. Um, oh, did it? right side up, but that's the question. So this one did not, but um, that's where I was trying to get the auto rotate to work. Hopefully it's doing auto rotate. If not, we'll have to go back and change one of the rules. Okay, it's back from this. I'm gonna go check one of the documents and see if it, I'm gonna advance it. And I doubt that it did the conversion back. So it's still upside down. So where would it do that? Uh, let's go back and look at the rules. And identify pages. So we got a task profiles, page ID, or profiler. One of these is going to rotate. So if I come back and I look at identify pages, which is page ID also, and I come in here and recognition analysis based, there is a rotation here. I'm going to turn that on and see what rule set does the rotation. This is kind of digging in. Um, that's what I'm going to check for rotation. I'm going to save and close it. So now this should have created a rule. I'm just trying to find the right rule set and rotate. So the problem with this is we did all this other rules before that do the based on the document source. So this isn't going to actually run. So there's a rotate image um, OCRS that has to run. And so that's in here. So that's how they do, in other cases, they do a rotate image OCRS. So I have to build a quick little rotate and put it into my page ID. So it does all that first. And so what do these do? Continue on failure, true, automatic retry, and OCRS. So I'm going to create a new rule set to do those things. Uh, add a rule set. I'm going to call it um, rotate. And I always give my rules of most of my functions, but I like to be able to tell them apart. Leaving with function one means you can never find it in the log. Call it F rotate. Image. Now I can just search for F rotate image and a login takes you right where I want to go. For rule sets, it comes up over and over again because it's going through and iterating through those um, as it's trying to find where things are attached. Now it was under this OCRS, right? 
All right, let me just go get that page ID rule. So that's what we'll do. Identify pages, page level. This one right here, um, I'm just copy that function, I think. I'm copy that function. I'm going to drop it into uh, here, paste it into there. I'll delete this function. Uh, I'll rename this one to F rotate image and I need to go to next function. Okay, so continue on field, it's probably fine. I have all that. So just I'm just copying how they do the rotate image. I'm gonna save this. Uh, I have to change where it's going to run. Uh, this guy ran runs at the page level, right? At page level. So we run it um, at the start of pages. And I can say of type page. And for that inheritance thing, I can say like page. Since we've inherited from page, we'll get those. So we've got that thing done. Um, I'll publish that. Now I have to tell it where to actually run. And I'm going to run it at the beginning of these. Um, page ID steps, page ID step, add it here, put it at the top, and I just realized I do not need to do any image enhancement because I don't want, I want the clean, crisp um, TIFF image. So that should rotate them in the proper orientation. So I've got that nice rule set here. Look at it one more time. I'll zoom in on it. And then it's going to run on page ID, go back to our test tab. <clears throat> now I have this one on hold. Oh, this one doesn't have. If I cancel out of the other batch, huh? I like a team image. So I'm going to go back to my samples. I'm going to get a shorter one that has an upside down document. So I just start with um, documents that have less pages because it goes faster. Go back to my two TIFF, my images, my multi format. Delete that because it's 25 pages and it's forever. Put that in there. Also, um, never preview a PDF that's in your ingest directory. It'll cause uh, Adobe Acrobat locks things and it'll cause all kinds of trouble. So I don't need to turn preview on if you notice it's, uh, it's not on for a specific reason. If you're going to look at a document, look at it in the source in a different directory. That's why I have it in samples there. Um, okay, so I'm going to create a new one of these. It's a vScan multi and run it. Should go pretty quick with two pages. Okay, I'm going to say advance. I'm going to look at these. Yes, there's two pages. One of them's upside down. That's the one I want it to turn right side up. So I'm going to play this one. Say advance. Now I'm pretty much done. I just want to make sure, please, I've turned it over. I did not turn it over. Okay, so why not? And the question as we go from here is starting to look at logs and see what actually ran. So this is um, number two. So batch number two. Look at the log. And I called it F rotate. That's how we can find it. And it did not run. Why not? There's what I called it, right? That's a good sign right there. So you can tell pretty quick. F rotate did not run in page ID. So let's just search for rotate image and see what it says. So there's the rule set. Oh, oh, I know what it is. So um, we told it to run on pages, but it's not page type page, it's page type other still. My fault. That's a good learning experience right there. So I'll lock that. I'll come over and uh, change this to say, I'll, and I'll just do it on of type other. That's why it didn't run, because our pages are type other. Let's publish that rule set. Now, this one has already gotten back to, it won't, it definitely won't run because these pages are not two uh, main pages and they're not others. So um, I can simply um, cancel this batch, start a new one, change it to multi -formats. You're seeing the kind of cycle that I go through to build these advanced play. Now I should do the rotation. And I'll get over to 
uh, folder uh, three. And did it rotate? Uh, let's say advance. There, it rotated it. Good. So now they're in the right order, the right direction, and my application is done. I just have to drop all those files in there, get them all to process, and now I'll have all TIFFs and they'll be all rotated properly. There's still a huge size. The scan, whoever did the scan, just really messed it up, but um, it's fine. It is what you get. Thank you.